Hey everybody, my name is Kung Bilt from the Fellowship of Acoustics and it's a new week, that means new new arrivals and we've selected the five nicest that we could find this week um, and I'm very happy to show them to you. So let's kick off with the first one which is a beautiful vintage Gibson from 1966. So it's the Hummingbird, the square shoulder dreadnought from Gibson, at least the most known one of course you have some other models as well but the Hummingbird is an absolute beauty. So first launched in 1960, it was an immediate hit and it was their second most expensive guitar. So it's a super luxurious dreadnought, uh, beautiful sunburst finish. This one from 66 comes with a few upgrades, of course the smaller neck, and originally it had the adjustable bridge, uh, what a lot of people replace uh, to get a more fundamental sound that you had on the older ones as well. So this one is, uh, is replaced with a new bridge, so it makes it a bit more powerful, uh, but at the same time holds that classic Gibson characteristics that you have on a Hummingbird. So it's slightly compressed, it works perfectly in the studio, and it's super nice to be. So the next one is quite a cool one. We've been waiting for quite a while to get them in. It's this Kitara and that they could make good guitars in Northern Ireland. We already knew uh, acoustically, you know, you have Loudon, McElroy, Avalon, uh, Kieran McNally, but they built insane electric guitars there as well. So this is the Harland model in Shoreline Gold finish. I think that's already worth to take a good look at. <laughs> with the Mojo pickups and this guitar is ideal for both slides and if you play a bit cranky so the more modern styles that you hear right now a lot so of course besides the sound they all also make it super good looking over at guitar so they they blend the pick art for instance here with the step headstock and the overall aging is done very nicely as well and even the plastics come back here on the back plate so everything is Done super nicely and super stylish. So the next one is from the Maiton Custom Shop. It is a trade-in, so she's a few years old, uh, but still in remarkable shape. So this is the Tommy Manuel Personal. And the biggest difference between the TE Personal and the TE, the normal one that you get from the standard line, is that the Personal, they've, they've sounded a bit more acoustically. And that's super nice because it sounds strong acoustically, but still has the same AP5 pickup, so on stage you're always good to go. Every sound engineer is super happy with you, with, with you if you take this guitar on stage. Some other upgrades are uh, the beautiful kilted Queensland maple that you see here on the back. It's a super nice set. And of course the CGP logo here, which isn't the block, but here are normal numbers. Uh, made by the Maiden Custom Shop. Overall, a very nice guitar, and good looking guitar. So if you're looking for a finger picker, then go check out this one.
So the next one up is a very nice limited run from Sewer Guitars. And this is the one that started all. So this is the Sewer Standard in Sewer Burst. Uh, yeah, it's a lot of sewer in one sentence. But um, so this one is made after the guitar that he built for himself in 1984. So this is the authentic, the oldest sewer uh, that you can find out there. It comes with three EMGs, HSS, so it's, it's ready to go loud. And then I mean very loud. It's a beautiful guitar. The way how they set up their guitars is insane. How low they can get without any fret buzz. But at the same time also, the wood that they select is just a beautiful top. And of course the finish in Sewerburst is very nice. If you're not a biggest fan of the Sewerburst, then there are some other finishes. So out of my head, there's a Lake Placid Blue, there's a Faded Cherry Burst, uh, there's a black finish as well. So there are a lot of colors for everybody's taste. So the last one is a super rare one and if you're a blue res guitar player then hold on a little bit longer because this one you'll absolutely love. So this is uh, Collins Winfield and it's not a standard Collins Winfield. It has the Adirondack top which we know from, from the Collins Winfield but on top of that it has this beautiful Brazilian rosewood back and sides and Brazilian rosewood back and sides on the Collins these days you can forget. Um, they are not exporting it to Europe anymore uh, so if you find one in Europe then you need to find one with the papers and this one has all the papers so that's super nice as well so it's legal to trade and legal to have you know it's super it sounds super fancy to, to have brazilian on your guitar but it also sounds super fancy huh sounds <laughs> no, the Brazilian Rosewood is still the magic tone wood. It's super warm and super rich. And what it is with this Collings Winfield is they had an extra stiff Adirondack top and large sound hole for super bright and super direct projection. Uh, also the brazing is based on a very old D28 to get that same direct tone. But what then the Brazilian does, the Brazilian adds a layer on top of that super nice direct tone, which is super warm and super nice for the ears. So it's, yeah, it's, it's magic when you hear it. And I, I think I can talk for hours and hours about it, but with this guitar, we just gotta listen to it. So that was it for this week. I really hope you enjoyed the video. I really hope you enjoyed the guitars. As always, let us know which one is your favorite and we hope to see you in the next video. If you want to have some more information on the guitars, go check out the website or go check out the demos in depth uh, that we've put on our demo channel. Uh, and I hope to see you next time. Bye bye. Cheers.